Hello guys, this is a tutorial video for Game Factorio and we are going to show you how to build a basic factory which is going to produce enough electricity to support mining drills and produce some basic iron plates. So here is the game and you can see in the middle the main character, this is the guy you control and he builds everything. So this guy in the beginning just gets from some crashed ship and he has nothing to do. So if you look in his inventory, what you can see is just a few iron plates and that's it. So from these iron plates, you can just build some basic pickaxe and start mining everything by hand. So here you can see that the pickaxe is crafted, it's in his hand and you can start mining. So let's go there and we start mining this iron. Uh, as you can see, this is going to take ages and we actually don't have so much time. So we're going to speed up this tutorial and we prepared some cheating chests. So let's go there and pick up all the stuff we need. So we can see the what's in the chest. So we will take these things. So we, you just left click them and move them into your inventory. Uh, you can see this is taking ages. So we have shortcuts for them. You can use shift you can use shift click or control click on the, on the on the stuff and it's moved automatically. Or you can use shift click on the whole chest and you don't have to even open it. Another thing you can use is these uh, filter filters in, inside of your bar. So this is your quick bar. The first five positions you use using one to five and the other shift one to five. So, and when you press middle button, you can select what, what's filtered there and nothing else is placed in this position. So for the first three position, we have locked that there are belts, inserters and uh, electric poles. So now we have all the stuff we need for building our factory. This is the, the, the site we're going to use for building. So here is some coal we are going to use for uh, mining. And then we are going to build some electric plants here around the water. Water is necessary for, for the power plants. And we're going to transport coal to the power plants so, so we, can, we can fuel them. Now here is some iron, so we are going to uh, smelt it together with the coal and furnaces in the middle. And this is this is what we do in this video. So let's get back to work. So we start by setting up electric plants. So first you have water pipe, which you connect to the water. It pumps the water up. So this is this building, partially it's built in the, the water. Using R key you can rotate the buildings if they're um, in a different way that you want to place them. Now we will add some, uh, some water pipes. You can see that the, the water is, is in it. And then we add um, a few boilers. These boilers are used to heat up the water. So if there, there is enough fuel in them, they heat up the water and then you can connect them to the power plants, which actually produce the electricity. So we have two, two power plants here. You can connect them in series since the water is going through them. So you can have something like four or five of these and everything is fine. So now you can see that uh, in these boilers are empty. There is blinking sign that we don't have enough fuel. So we are going to mine some coal. Mm, actually, this is going to take ages, so instead of coal, we can use some wood we already have. So we place some coal maybe here and, and maybe some, some wood here and to the other boilers. So we have something like three boilers running now. And when I show the, the, elect the electric button, there is some available performance. We produce some energy, but the performance is empty. We do not use anything because nothing is connected to our plants. So we are going to... Uh, to build some mining drills to use this electricity, we built two here and connect them with uh, belts to the, the power plant. So you can see the output of, of these belts is automatically, of these drills is automatically running on, on the belt. So, so you can use it uh, pretty easily and just connect them with, with belts. Uh, we built it in, a, in the wrong way, so you can, you can erase it by the left button and repair everything. So we leave gap of size of one in between of the boilers and belt because there is inserter going to be placed. These machines are taking things from one place and insert it to the other. So 
So using using this setup, we take coal from the uh, from the belt and we connect it automatically to the boilers. Now we connect it with the energy, and you can finally see that the, the, the electricity is satisfied. There, these inserters are not blinking anymore. Also, this this blue area around the electric pole is, is showing how much of the area is covered by it. So so everything which is which is built in this blue area is is um, is uh, filled by the energy from 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 the electric pole. So now you can see that the, the the mining drills are running, and the coal is transported towards towards uh, the inserters. The inserters are inserted into, into boilers, and everything starts to running now. So you can see that the available performance is much higher, and we are just using a small fraction, but finally non zero. We use some energy we, we prepare. So this is running. So now let's use the remaining part of the energy and let's produce something out of it. So also on the on the uh, on the electric pole you can see that uh, all the electricity demand is satisfied. If here would be you know, the, the, the full bar then you couldn't uh, then you wouldn't have enough energy and you have to basically build more of these uh, of these uh, power plants. So let's go build some mining. So here we have iron. So we built a few of the mining drills here. And everything is exactly as before, so we build four of them and connect them with the, with the, uh, with the transportation belt. And then we are going to set up here uh, the coal mining site. So, so here, we are, here we are mining uh, coal. We are actually making everything separate. In a larger factory you connect uh, your inputs, uh, inputs because you have a big big factory and then the mines are very distant so you connect the, the input mines and you filter the coal to the plants and the rest for the production but here we have everything separate so we built a few of the furnaces up here so furnaces are uh, yeah uh, first we have to make a few of these inserters because uh, we don't have enough of them you can see the crafting queue here so we, uh, it takes some time, but in a larger factory you can actually do this automatically. So this is fine. So we have a few furnaces, so we place them here. And as you can see, we, they take space two times two, which is fine. And it's, this is useful in a larger factory because you have more space for additional inserters, maybe. So we built five input inserters and five output inserters here. So everything is going to be placed. Uh, the products is, are going to be placed on the left of these of these furnaces on this belt, which is which is which is going to be stored in these two uh, in these two wooden chests. So we have everything set up. Just so let's plug the electricity there. Yeah, so we're building electric poles. As you can see, this, this yellow cover means that your building placement is okay, but you're too far from it, so you have to get closer to it. So we connect with electricity these uh, furnaces and the inserters. So inserters are those who need, who need power, and then we connect it with the, with the iron mines, and we connect everything to the, to the coal mining site. And connect it to our our small electricity plant. So so basically we have everything everything connected in one one network now. Yeah. So now everything is running. You can see that the coal is coming from right and the iron is coming from left to this T-shaped crossing. So the property is that the iron is running on the left side and coal on the right side of this belt. This is very useful because no matter how much of one type of the resources you have, it gets never stuck. So the problem would be if, too, for example, too much coal would stuck all of these, all of these uh, furnaces and the iron couldn't get there. But here is no problem because they are, uh, the inputs are separate. Also on the top part, you can see that the furnace is blinking because there is uh, not enough of iron now, the iron finally got there, so the furnace is producing. If you right click this, then you can see that the iron is produced, the top bar is showing how much of the production is left, and the bottom bar is showing how much fuel is there and how, how is the fuel burned. So you can see that the, that the iron is outputting from the machine, and if we take a look uh, on, the, on the output side, 
we see that the R1 plates are finally running and they are stored in um, in this chest. So we can see about 50 of, of these uh, produced. So this is our basic um, setup of, of a very small factory. We are not actually producing anything yet. This is going to be used in the follow-up video, but you can see that we are finally able to produce something and we do not have to do it by hand. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.